Welcome to Science Easy Tech channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about advantages and disadvantages of through experimental research design. This video will be useful for BSc Nursing, Post Basic BSc Nursing and students who are studying MSc Nursing. Already I have posted many videos with related to through experimental research design its criteria as well as various types of through experimental research design. If you have not watched those videos, I have given the link of nursing research and statistics playlist in suggested I card, end card and also in description box. Before moving on to the topic, if you are new to Science Easy Tech channel, just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to get connected with our latest updates. Let's move on to the content what we are going to do in this video advantages of through experimental design and disadvantages of through experimental design so what are the advantages of through experimental design research design first is to establish cause effect relationship causal relationship between independent and dependent variables so you can tell what is the cause for what so this leads to that for example the basic example what everyone used to tell smoking leads to lung cancer so how you are telling the smoking is one of the risk factor or is one of the cause for lung cancer by means of doing various experimental researches so to establish the causal relationship between independent variable that is smoking and dependent variable that is lung cancer okay so the controlled environment in which the study is conducted can yield a greater degree of purity in observation so you are going to have very high degree of purity in observation because the experimental study you are going doing in a controlled environment or in a controlled laboratory setting whatever it can be so where you are controlling so many other extraneous variables which is going to affect your study you, it cannot be it may not be possible if you are going to do the same thing in a natural setting so that's why the results what you are going to obtain from experimental studies are going to be highly valuable next conditions not found in natural settings can be done in experimental setting where the independent variable is manipulated by the investigator so some studies you cannot do it in a natural setting you have to have a control environmental setting and where the investigator will be manipulating the independent variable to find its effect on the dependent variable so the uh, investigator want to assess the efficacy of a drug so he is going to do some uh, cl clinical drug trials so he is going to give some drugs uh, and he is going to assess the effect of the uh, drugs in the patient's body in a clinical uh, drug trial okay so in this approach we often create conditions in a short period of time that may take years naturally so experimental studies you can do within a short period of time suppose if you want to do it in a natural setting or naturally if you want to do it may take much time okay so the so time will be saved if you are going to do in an experimental thing when experiment is conducted in laboratory the pressure and problems of real life situations are removed i told no previously sir you can control the extraneous variables everything um, and the real life uh, situations problems pressure everything can be removed and the researcher can pursue the study in a more leisurely peacefully and most concentrated and careful way he can do the study because he is doing it in experimental setup in a laboratory like that but if you are, he is going to do in a natural setting he may have so many hindrances for doing the study what are the disadvantages of through experimental research design? So if we have some pros, definitely we will have some cons. Okay, so the results of experimental designs cannot be replicated in studies conducted on human beings due to ethical problems. See, if you are going to do some studies on human subjects, repeatedly you cannot repeat the same thing because there may be ethics, that is code of conduct of moral behavior, so many ethics like a principle of beneficence, justice, maleficence, like that autonomy, consent, like that, and so many things is that already we have posted a video on ethics in nursing research if you have not watched those video i have given the playlist link in a uh, thing or you can search like that ethics in nursing research in science easy tech channel so that you will get it so many of the human variables neither have valid measurable criteria nor instruments to measure them so human variables okay uh, or characteristics many things you may not be able to have standard scales to measure it okay so each individual is different or unique so the variables all cannot be measured and you cannot tell that this is the correct one so it may vary from individual to individual and there are no particular instrument which can correctly measure these variables so that is also a drawback for experimental research design 
if experimental studies are conducted in natural settings like hospitals or community it is not possible to impose control over extraneous variables if you are doing in a lab setup it is okay but if you are going to do the same experimental study in a natural setup like a hospitals or some community like that then uh, you have you have very high uh, possibility of difficulty in controlling the other extraneous variables which is going to affect the outcome of your study it is difficult to give cooperation from the study participants because it may involve medical or surgical treatment or intervention which may make the prospective subjects reluctant to participate in research study suppose if you are doing a research study on human subjects uh, sometimes you are going to uh, assess any medical treatment or uh, some surgical treatment uh, so uh, some subjects may not be will to do experiments on them okay uh, sometimes you no know, for money sake they will uh, accept uh, but uh, many of the times you are concerned uh, that's why we have to get concern from the participants so many may uh, may be not willing to get the uh, thing done experiment done on them okay so here you have to be very conscious of, of getting informed concern from the participants so there may be chances for participants not participating or not willing to participate in the study so these are the disadvantages hope this video has given a clear uh, idea about the advantages and disadvantages of through experimental research design uh, if you like my video please give a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel my previous videos link i have given in the suggested study end card i card and also in description box keep supporting to science easy tech channel don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you friends